Welcome. In this video, we're going to talk about intelligent ways of selecting and deselecting polygons in order to model more quickly. I'm going to use a disk in the row shading lines mode in order to build a little spiral stair. We're going to use 28 rotation segments and a slice, so it may look like this. And we're going to start from top, so this will be our first step. Hit UI or select inverse and hit D for extruding downwards and I go down 11 centimeters which is of course a bit, uh, well, not really enough for a um, proper stairway but in proportion it looks okay. And by the way what I'm doing now is just pressing space bar in order to switch between my current and my last tool. So that way I don't really have to click that much. Maybe with control click I'm deselecting the last step. And maybe it's clever to um, just leave some steps so I have a plateau. And um, of course it's crucial to have a proper viewing angle when modeling. So I see what I'm doing. For turning the camera around, I use Alt. And well, from that angle, I can't see much, so I should always look at it from a kind of uh, angle that allows me to see both sides. And let me just leave um, some plateau down here. And now for some more tricks. Well, first I delete that wall. And um, how, first of all, how would you select the outer wall here without painting? Um, it's always good to think of the opposite of what you want to do. So you select the steps um, using select loop selection or just UL. And then you can press UF or select fill selection to get that wall without doing much and then you press up or mesh commands split right after clicking on split you delete the polygons from that object so this now is the only object that contains polygons from the wall Let's deactivate the wall for now and now I would like to add some details into those steps because steps never go like this, maybe only in computers. So let's refine it by going to edge mode and select a selection mode that's called ring selection. And it would be very time consuming to click on those guys, so maybe it's just clicker, uh, quicker to click here and just take the side that's uh, totally open to you so you can see it, see it full and you just click down here like so and uh, the idea was just to get um, those two opposing edges on both sides of the stairs because now I go to the top and all I want to do in polygon mode is to um, get rid of the center here. So remember, my edge selection is still active, but I can, without doing anything, now go on, select that loop, um, hit UP and delete, and call this stairs or steps. And the funny thing is, um, if I go to edge mode now, they, those 
to um, edges are still active. And the cool thing is there um, those opposing edges are not selected. So I can now um, use another um, cutting tool right away, which is um, I'm always yeah edge cut. You can get it uh, using MF or clicking here create tools edge cut. Click once, make sure to deactivate create n-gons and move the off offset upwards. So you have like a tiny uh, bit here. And now it would have been cool if I was, was able to um, have a selection beforehand. So let's try that. Um, I'm talking about the polygon mode now. I select everything, cut in my edge cut tool again but probably yeah we still have to um, deactivate those guys by hand let me just make sure I'm not making a mistake here we could try this so I what I did from this step to this is hold down shift and click on polygons now that way I get only the bits um, on those sides and now I still have to deselect with control clicks the bigger part and I don't um, really try to hit exactly the polygon I want to deselect I rather go on um, well, this area because that's sufficient and for making your viewing area full screen um, you just click control tab so control tabulate at the same time and now I can use those edges with D with which is extrusion and go like that now let's make sure the back sides are not closed if they are you have to disable create caps and now how can you get rid of those tiny bits if you want it um, just again make the loop selection inverted UI and delete so now maybe a little window in the outside wall maybe like so and um, just hit extrude in this direction and well uh, I don't really have a concept here but maybe like so maybe you press UP and delete again use this as window cross and um, you may choose to um, uh, like four polygons in a column hit UZ 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 take the two top ones UZ UZ and then these are treated like single polygons in fact they are n-gons and now I can select them all, go inwards, go inwards again, this time not preserving groups and pushing them outside. Like that, press UP delete and call them glass. And yeah, that was just a, a well, quick workflow going through the selection tools like loop selection, ring selection, fill selection and well I haven't uh, talked about outline selection uh, which might be a new way of selecting in this version so um, let's try it. Um, I just take some random polygons here 
and go to outline selection. Uh, interesting. It's in edge mode and it gets a ring. Yeah, we have to think about a use for that, but it looks really cool. And um, that was outline selection, fill selection. We had that. That was how we selected the outside wall uh, within a second. And the path selection is very useful. The shortcut for the path selection is UM. And I use it especially in um, edge mode. Really like it. And you can just stroke with your mouse over stuff. And if you've done something wrong, like I did, then you can just go back and you go on like that. Don't have to click a thing, it works just like that. And if I was to convert this edge selection into points, just hold down shift while you click your way through. Another cool thing is if you want to shrink a selection, you can use shrink selection, which is UK, or you can go um, grow selection, which is U UI, like that. Okay, let's have a look. Path selection, select all, deselect all, invert, we had that. Select connected. Well, that's kind of obvious, that's the whole object then. Um, well, not the whole object. Um, if you have a part of the um, your mesh selected and you went to mesh command disconnect before, then of course um, this didn't create a new object but this broke the connection to the other uh, polygons, then it would work like selecting uh, connected would work like this or if I had was clicking here then select connected would be that. If I want to merge um, both parts, I mean they are the same object, but if I want to put them together then I have to um, select all polygons here, which basically just works like that. Go to polygon mode and hit command A, uh, then you have it all. And then we should um, try for a way to um, put them together, which is not melting. Um, but fusing, and uh, I fuse this stuff together by using optimize, and that way uh, they are connected again. I never use hiding selections or unhiding. This might be interesting if you have um, really, really dense meshes or so, but um, I mostly use UP and deleting. Um, and naming stuff right away and disabling it if stuff is in my way. For example, the outside wall, I would just put it to blind because that kind of hiding thing, well, never uh, really were um, part of my workflow. Converting selection, we did that with holding down shift. Oh yeah, and setting selections, I think I discussed that in another video, but um, just um, to make it complete, um, it's sometimes clever to keep a selection um, set. You can name it like top ring, and then when you do other stuff in the same um, polygon mode um, or in the same mode, then um, you still can go back sometime um, to the other selection so um, that's kind of useful as well yeah that was just a quick run through intelligent selections